Hello and welcome to the section 4 of the course T Shark Wireshark command line interface. Now, in this section, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We will learn about the T Shark tool and uh, what are the various commands available in T Shark that we are going to cover here in this section. Wireshark command line interface. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We will learn about what is T Shark. The basics as well as how you can set up T-Shark inside your system that we are going to cover here in this video. So first of all, let's talk about what is T-Shark. So here we are at the official website of Wireshark, which is Wireshark.org, and uh, you can gather information about T-Shark if you visit the URL Wireshark.org/docs/man-pages/T-Shark.html. So it is in the documentation of Wireshark tools. So this is the name T-Shark. The work of T-Shark is to dump and analyze network traffic. So this is similar to Wireshark GUI, right? We have learned about uh, how to use Wireshark graphical user interface, right? And we will learn more about it. But this is T-Shark and uh, it is also available in the tools of Wireshark. It is a command line interface tool, right? So you should also know about the command line interface tool of Wireshark, right? And T-Shark is very popular. So this is the synopsis of T-Shark. These all are the commands and the options, filters, whatever you can say. It is available in the T-Shark, right? If I talk about the description, so you can see here T-Shark is a network protocol analyzer. So it is also similar like Wireshark, like Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer or you can say sniffer or you can say man in the middle attack tool, similar as T-Shark. The only difference is Wireshark is a graphical user interface tool and T-Shark is a command line interface tool. Got it? It lets you capture packet data from a live network. Obviously, when a live network is running, so the packets are leaving the network, packets are coming inside the network. So the work of T-Shark is to capture those packets and it, it can save the output inside a pcap file or in a capture file. Or read packets from a previously saved capture file. Perfect either printing a decoded form of these packets to standard output yeah as i already told you you can save the packets inside the another file and you can save it inside your system so tcap native capture file is pcap so pcap is the extension of the file right which is also the format used by tcp dump or various other tool so when you save file from wireshark gui so you will also get the file with dot pcap extension with it Right, so pcap means basically capturing file. T shark will much like it is similar to TC dump tool. It will use the pcap library to capture traffic from the first available network and display a summary line. Right, so this is the work of T shark tool. Right, now there are hundreds of commands available in T shark. You can check here in the options. You can read all the options inside t-shark if you visit the official website these are all the options available inside it you can simply read about them you cannot remember all these commands so i'll show you the setup first of all that what is the setup of t-shark in windows operating system as we are working on windows so you don't need to download and install it it is already available in the wireshark files right so let me show you where it is so what you can do here you can open your c drive of your windows operating system so let me open my c drive here it is inside c drive first of all open it inside c drive you can see program files so open program files here double click here inside program files you need to find wireshark so wireshark is available right here double click here and inside wireshark you have to find out the t shark.exe file so you can come down and let's see if there is any file available or not t shark.exe and here you can see that t shark is available right here right so you can see here that t shark is available right here the firefox document is also available here you can also check about t shark if you double click here so it will also open the same kind of uh, page right in offline mode and we have opened in the online all right so this is t-shark application it is already available inside wireshark tools or wireshark directory right you just need to visit the directory of wireshark using command prompt and you can simply open t-shark inside it 
So now how to open T Shark inside command prompt that I'm going to show you here. So first of all, you need to open command prompt. You need to come to this directory and then how you can open T Shark. Let's find out. So guys, what you can do here, first of all, open the command prompt here. So you can open command prompt inside windows. And uh, this is command prompt. So first of all, I'm inside my username. So let me come back so I can come back by typing CD space dot dot hit enter. Then again, CD space dot dot to come back to the C drive, right? I am inside C drive. Now I need to check what are the directories available in C drive. So I can type here DIR. So you can see here that program files is available here. So I need to go inside program files. So to go inside program files, you can type here CD space and then you can simply right click and copy and right click and paste here. So that's how you can paste the directory hit enter. You are inside program files. Again, you can type DIR to check the directories inside it. And uh, we need to find out Wireshark here. So Wireshark is available here. So we need to go inside Wireshark. So again, you can type CD space Wireshark. Select, right click, copy and right click, paste here. So here it is. I'm inside Wireshark. Again, I can type DIR to check the directories inside Wireshark. And inside Wireshark, you can see here that uh, these all are the directories available inside it. But we are finding T-Shark here. So let me check where is T-Shark and here it is. So you can see here that T-Shark is available right here. These two are the T-Shark documents. One is the HTML file. This is uh, basically basic information about T-Shark. And this is the exe file which we need. So T-Shark is already there right we just need to use t sharp for capturing packets right so this is the setup of uh, t shark uh, exe now how you can check the interfaces inside your system using t shark so in command prompt you can type here t shark dot exe space dash capital d so this is the command here t shark dot exe space dash capital d and hit enter so here you can see that there are actually four interfaces inside my system. One is my wireless, which I'm working on. And uh, these three, basically I'm not working on these three interfaces. I'm only working on my wireless, right? So that's how you can check the interfaces. And uh, we can also capture various packets inside our network using T-Shark. So this is the basic information about T-Shark and uh, the setup of T-Shark inside Windows operating system.